because it is easy to say the world is disturbing me the world is you know keep on distracting me nobody in this world is having a specific plan to get you distracted so decide to do some sacrifice in the present situation to achieve a great future you will be unshakable in the future if you fail to sacrifice in the present to achieve a great future your future itself will be a sacrifice your future itself will be a sacrifice don't even ask what are you going to do with your life what have you done to your life it is very easy to keep on blaming the world blaming the society nobody is interested in you nobody is going to take care of you it is a fact nobody is interested in you because most of the people are not interested in their own self let your goal be professional not emotional i am not even saying it should be spiritual let it be professional why am i doing what am i doing let it be very clear with two things how much money i want to make because of doing this and how much time i need to spend to get this money because it's your life being powerful in life never promises that you'll be peaceful in life but when you're peaceful in life with this a promise from the divine that will be powerful all the time see how can you say that i'm getting distracted from the goals it is not at all possible when somebody says Guruji, I am not able to focus on my goal, and I am getting distracted from my goal. That doesn't mean that the distraction is powerful. Your goals are weak because it is easy to say the world is disturbing me. The world is, you know, keep on distracting me. Nobody in this world is having a specific plan to get you distracted. Never. Nobody has never planned that. Okay, this is so and so person A. this person a should never achieve his goal so the entire world is planning to make sure this person a is spoiled in his life not at all if you are saying that i'm getting too much of distraction i'm not able to focus in my goal first let me put it very simple when you are able to say guruji i'm having a goal and i'm getting distracted what you possess is not a goal at all it is just an interest when somebody says i have a goal which means that he has come out of the track of possibility of influence and distraction and disturbance and if you say in spite of having a goal if you are able to say that i have a distraction in life that doesn't mean the distraction is powerful your goal is weak you should have a goal in a way that it is so powerful that nothing can ever disturb you or distract you from your goal so first you should have a plan second make a plan into goal now make the goal into vision This vision has to be an high standard in such a way that you hold on to such a super success in your mind as your personal goal, as your vision. If you hold on to such a very powerful or a big success, even if you fail, you should still be successful than others who are already successful. That is the spiritual approach in life. You can be a Muslim, you can be an Hindu, you can be a Christian, or you can be, you know, totally not religious. You are a nihilistic person. You are not into any. belief system you're out of all possible belief system i don't believe in god i don't believe in religion okay superb but still you have life you have something called tomorrow ask yourself don't even ask what are you going to do with your life what have you done to your life it is very easy to keep on blaming the world blaming the society nobody is interested in you nobody is going to take care of you it is a fact nobody is interested in you because most of the people are not interested in their own self your life is your own decision your life is your own decision in fact your fate is your own decision and your life is your own creation so once you realize this hold on to a goal or the success that you want to enjoy which has to be the most powerful success don't just create a goal based on your ability that's what i explain first i have a plan what i should do or what are the preparation that is required from my side to enjoy the success now hold on to a goal now ask yourself am i having a goal to my ability which is a goal have a goal which is more than your ability more than your present reality more than your present capability then that is a vision so having a goal then having a vision how to convert your goal into vision 
having a success in your mind which is based on your present reality and your ability is just a goal but raising yourself to the standard of holding on to a vision which is more than your ability more than your capacity that is where you first take the first step to increase your standard forget about the success so how to increase your standard i want you to hold on to a success as your vision which is more than your ability your success that you are holding should be in such an high standard even if you fail to achieve that success still you should be successful than other successful people this is the first thing so once i hold on to such a big success in my life now the second part is totally under my control having my future in mind having the good consequence and the good comfort and the good life that i'm going to live and going to provide to my family i will do certain sacrifice in the present moment see sacrifice should not be misunderstood with compromise compromise is coming down in standard no sacrifice means actually it is not sacrifice but to start with you may feel like a sacrifice yes guruji i am not only going to hold on to a big success i am also going to achieve big success then this is totally your part this is totally your responsibility to make sure that i should take effort or i should tell myself it is required to do a sacrifice in the present moment to achieve success in my future no i won't take effort to do that minimal sacrifice that is required in the present moment to achieve a great future don't take me wrong you want it or not your future will be a sacrifice jesus the very great mohammed even in bhagavad gita or in any possible veda every great personality is not blessed with the skill okay arjuna come here take your skill tell me one person in quran who is just born and given all the skill they took effort tell me one people in veda or in you know upanishad they just born with all the skill no they put their effort there is a sacrifice which they have done to achieve that skill and i stand it in their own self so if you are listening at least you are blessed enough to listen to this kind of a knowledge which most of the people are not able to i don't know will you be successful by listening to it but you are blessed by listening to this in fact you are already blessed only because of that you are listening to this so decide to do some sacrifice in the present situation to achieve a great future you will be unshakable in the future if you fail to sacrifice in the present to achieve a great future your future itself will be a sacrifice your future itself will be a sacrifice so once you decide to sacrifice listen to me very carefully you will start seeing the life with no compromise what do you mean by sacrifice whatever you are currently doing with respect to vision increase its standard increase its quality and add some more extra time to spend to enhance your skill to enhance your success say for example for the schedule i have i have no time to go to the gym or i can spend only half an hour for doing my exercise now what i can do in this half an hour i can make sure i can totally dedicate only for exercise i can avoid the calls during this exercise time or just for a walking i can walk only for 20 minutes a day in that 20 minutes i can make sure can i cover 1 km or 2 km but not increasing the time this is called sacrifice this is sacrifice sacrifice is not putting yourself into pain sacrifice is spending more time in activity which will increase your strength which will increase your power which will enhance your success in fact it is it will give you more pleasure initially it may sound like a little pain but it will give you permanent pleasure permanent pleasure or you can belong to any field you can be a doctor you can be a model or you can be a pilot there are certain fixed things which you cannot avoid in the remaining time if you have taken decision to spend more time on things which is going to make you you know maintain the existing standard and increase your standard that is called sacrifice it's not a painful process guruji i am sacrificing my life for my son this is not sacrifice this is a compromise this is pure cheating which you have done for your own self because now you got into emotional goal listen very carefully let your goal be professional not emotional i am not even saying it should be spiritual 
let it be professional why am i doing what am i doing let it be very clear with two things how much money i want to make because of doing this and how much time i need to spend to get this money because it's your life to come to this later so what is sacrifice not saying guruji for my sister i did not get married this is not sacrifice and above all when it comes to sacrifice you should never waste your time on helping everybody god has got two thumb rule in helping people god never said help everyone many people think this is a sacrifice guruji i keep helping the society i keep helping the people it's all fine you should do when you raise yourself that itself is a great help i'm not saying you should not go and help the needy but you should not belong to the category of needy listen very carefully you should never belong to the category of needy for that what i should do i will make sure i will sacrifice in the present moment with respect to my vision and the mind to achieve a greater future and for sure the future will be great in this mean well i won't misunderstand the compromise with sacrifice my sacrifice is not doing something for others is not taking the pain for others no that's not required if you want to help someone educate them provide them with the facility which will enhance them so while doing this make sure you are following the two thumb rule what is the first one i will never help anyone who is not ready to change what is the thumb rule number 1 i will never help anyone who is not ready to change i will never take effort to change someone who is not ready to help his own self it is not the thumb rule followed only by you this is the same thumb rule followed by the divine god is never going to help anyone who is not ready to change and god will never take any effort to change anybody who is not ready to help his own self why am i saying this now when you're ready to sacrifice your present for the future to create a better future now you are clearing these two the entire nature is aware the soul is ready to change the soul is showing the sign that he is going to help his own self to raise his own self now the entire universe will help for you and this will happen automatically not by seeking not by praying it will happen automatically even if you don't want by the time you are ready to sacrifice by the time you are ready to sacrifice you are not going to sacrifice your life you are going to sacrifice your present moment to achieve a great future you may have the ability to watch a youtube you may have the ability to have some fun with your friends going for a drink you may decide no in spite of me having the possibility to have a fun with my friends by having extra drink rather i decide to sit and do some research on the business that i want to do or rather i would decide to go to gym to pump my muscle to make sure i look fit this is called sacrifice even though it is good for you still it is a sacrifice because you add the possibility of getting into more pleasure and fun actually not it is a temporary pleasure for permanent pain but still you have decided that time it will feel like sacrifice in fact it is a sacrifice in fact it is a sacrifice by the time you decide to live a life out of sacrifice in the present moment to create a great future you will live a life of no compromise and forever you will see a positive surprise in life first is what you will see no compromise in life your standard will increase and forever you will see no compromise and every time life will you know bring you to a positive surprise you will keep enjoying positive surprise in everything you will be seeking something that will seek you before you seek you will be desiring for something that which you desire will automatically happen for you when you hold on to this quality and above all when you have a great success as your vision with a very big success as your vision and when you start living a life of sacrifice in the present moment to accelerate your success you know what will happen you will start feeling what you want is going to happen to you this one feeling will give you unexplainable mental strength you ask yourself how do you feel when you know what you want is going to happen to you or you are going to get what you want or how do you feel when you know whatever i start i will accomplish with flying colors not a big thing i'm not i don't want you to feel that i'm atman i'm all powerful god in me is the only god for me god has blessed me with everything you are blessed you deserve the best because you're already blessed not such great you know spiritual truth a very simple thing how do i feel when i know by the time of starting itself that i am going to be successful in what i start you will have a very different feeling 
you will have an unexplainable mental strength once you start enjoying it then everything every aspect of life will be filled with positive energy you cannot feel negativity around you in spite of uncertainty in spite of negativity still you will feel positive because when you know that you're going to be successful in what you're doing or in what you're going to do you will not only do it with full energy you will do it with a different spiritual energy without this that which was once reachable to you that which was in your reach you will not be able to reach all the resistance which you felt as a resistance will be taken away you will find out new opportunities which you are not aware about once you know that you want to achieve what you want or once you realize everything is going to happen to me as i want you will not only move away from negativity you will keep seeing opportunities which you are not aware about the resistance the endurance the obstacle will all disappear naturally and the opportunity will appear in front of you for sure it will appear in front of you and that change is the change that you need to achieve to bring the change that you need to see in your life to bring the change that you need to see in your life i wish you all a life filled with peace and success from now and forever aham brahmasma